So I've completed creating the Vault Dweller jumpsuit in just 10 days. In my last video, I covered how you can create the bodice of the jumpsuit. So in this one, I'll cover the simple ways to add piping to your costume, the best way to make the trousers, and how you can finish your Vault Dweller jumpsuit. So where do I start putting the trouser pieces together? And you want to focus on the front and back panels first. So you should have two panels each of these. And down the seams, you're going to add your piping. So what you'll need to add your piping is some string and a strip of fabric that's usually cut on the bias. But in this case, I just cut it normally just to not run out of fabric. So what I mean by cutting on the bias is say this is your fabric. So this would be your selvage and you would fold this part diagonally and then with this diagonal fold that is your fabric's bias and you would usually cut this out into loads of strips that you can use to do either bias binding or piping but in this case I'll just be cutting strips the length of the leg so that I have enough fabric to actually make the jumpsuit so once you've got your strips cut out you want to get your string that's just a bit longer than your fabric pieces and lay that in the center and then wrap that around. Then to add this in place, you want to add it to one of those panels before connecting the seams together. You can either tack or pin this in place, whichever one's quickest or easiest for you. But once that's in place, you should have something looking like this. And then you can start to add your second panel on top with right sides together, either pinning or basing it in place and then just sewing along that to finish one bit of your piping. And your piping should look something like this and you can cut the excess seam allowance away as well so with that front panel seam in place it's then time to do the back seam panel you'll do the same thing with the piping that you did on the front and either pin that in place or baste it down and sew that in place then with the right sides together again you'll just sew them and be left with a seam like this and with all four of your front panels and back panels sewn you should be left with some back panels looking like this and some front ones that look like this. You do also want to add some piping to the side seams that you'll connect to that side panel of your trousers on both the back and front. I forgot to and it took a while to unpick that seam once I put it together to re-add that piping in. With the fronts and backs of your trousers put together, it's then a matter of adding in the detailing on the trousers. So how do you add this detailing onto the trousers? The detailing that is, is a box pleat. And this is the same detailing that is on the arms if you've watched my previous video. But how do you add the box plate? To take this as your fabric from a side view, you then want to make one fold and then another fold going the opposite way and vice versa all the way along at each point that you've marked. So your fabric should start to look a bit like that from the side view. So once you've started to mark out and fold your fabric, I'd recommend basting each fold into place just because this fabric tends to flop about and won't actually press and hold the shape as well. But once you do have it basted in place you can give it a press just to make sure that the fabric's nice and flat. Then to the edging of each box pleat you're going to add a top stitch just going along making sure not to catch the under fold of the fabric. So you should be left with your box pleats looking like this with your top stitching just going along it neatly over each outer box pleat. Then it's just a matter of sewing the box pleats onto one side of your panels. You can either choose to do this onto your front or back panel. I chose to do it on my front panel so it should look something like this. So if all of the panel piece is complete, how do you put the trousers together? And it's quite a simple process. So you want to start with the crotch seam put together on both the front and back panels. So what I've done here is I've just started to pin that front crotch seam together and then you'll just sew along with a straight stitch just to get that seam in place. And you can press that open once you're done to make sure that seam's just lying flat. And you're going to do the same with the back crotch panel as well and just pin and sew that into place. So with the crotch seams together, I always find it's easier to sew along the inside leg of the trousers first. So just do that with a straight stitch on your sewing machine and then sew up the outer edges of your trousers. With those sewn, you should be left with a pair of trousers that look like this from the front, side and back. Now you should have a completed bodice and a completed pair of trousers. But how do you put them together? And it's quite simple really. All you need to do is sew along the waistline of both the bodice and the trousers. 
and sew that using straight stitch. When you're doing this section of sewing the bodice and the trousers together, make sure to take your time because there's a lot of fabric to try and fit underneath the sewing machine. And make sure you cut down any excess bulk from any of your piping seams and bodice seams. And with those two pieces together, you'll have yourself a fully constructed jumpsuit. Then all that's left is to add the number on the back and on the collar. For the number on the back, I use a Sports Flex vinyl, which is just iron on, so it gives it a nice seamless finish. And then for the collar, I just used some craft foam, which is cut out and stab stitched on to the fabric. I wanted to use craft foam for this one because in the original, it actually looked like it had a bit more of a 3D effect to it. And all that's left to finish your jumpsuit is to hem both the sleeves and the trouser legs. Once you've got those hems in place, you'll be left with a full Vault Dweller jumpsuit. If you're interested in any more of my projects and how I did the rest of the jumpsuit, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.